Oh. Okay. You guys good? We're good, Coach. Why don't you go ahead and start with a statement, then we'll open up for questions. Yeah, I mean, one of those nights, um, we were due for one. Um, I'll be honest, it, it's uh, uh, I'm not disappointed. I'm I'm not. I'm 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 actually in a in a really really good place. Um, they mucked the game up. Give them a lot of credit. Uh, they've got, uh, there's a reason they foul as much as any team in the country. Uh, they mucked, they mucked the game up, made it ugly. Um, their kids played really hard. I thought Langford was unbelievable in the first half and impacted the game. Uh, you know, I, uh, we, we have a chance as bad as we played as many free throws as we missed as many layups as we smoked. Uh, our, our two, our two heroes didn't play very well in IO and Kofi our two guys. And yet we've got a chance after flagrant foul to cut it to six on the road against the team that we can't, we can't lose sight of was a top five team, uh, early, earlier this year. So they're getting their legs under them. They played good. Uh, we, we had a couple breakdowns in transition and in the first half that really hurt us. And then we had um, we we couldn't get a stop. It was a second chance. We we'd get a stop. We get a second chance point, but uh, or they get a second chance basket. But give them credit. Uh, On to the next. Um, you know, it was uh, uh, we fought till the end, and I'm I'm proud of that. And we'll go get we'll we'll go after it again on uh, on Thursday. Okay, we'll start off with Marley, and then Matt Stevens and Scott Ritchie. Go ahead, Marley. Coach, it seems there was just a lot of frustration the whole way around. How do you coach a, a team through that when you guys are just dealing with uh, so many mental challenges, and especially when maybe the ball isn't going in? Yeah, that's on me. That's on me. I was, uh, you know, I, I was, I was, um, I got to be better. I got to do a better job. I got to, I got to do a better job of, of. Um, uh, getting our guys through that. Uh, we, we've had moments like that, um, you know, but again, tonight was frustrating. And, and, and I think the more, uh, you know, the, the, the more the game went on, I thought we settled in. But again, it was, um, I got to be better. It looked like Io uh, got a little emotional. I mean, usually he's so very um, composed. Did you find there was a little something out of character for him tonight as in that sense? Um, no, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there was anything to be made of it. I, you know, I mean, I owe, I owe, you know, missed a couple layups and a couple free throws that he doesn't miss. It just, and it's one of those nights. I mean, I don't care. Mm -hmm. You look at, you look at any pro, you look at any player, they have bad nights and, and, you know, um, he's been on a, he's been on an unbelievable streak for a long time and, and, uh, he's won us a lot of games and, um, you know, I just, I, I just was uh, one of those nights, and we're asking him to play a lot of minutes and guard uh, Aaron Henry as well. And um, you know, we'll get him next time. All right, thank you. Hey, Matt Stevens and Scott Ritchie, go ahead, Matt. Brad, Trent mentioned tonight that the physicality really bothered bothered you guys, and and he seemed to mention that at least tonight it was a toughness issue. Um, is he being a little too hard on himself, or is that something that you saw over the course of forty? No, years? he's probably. Um, over exaggerating that a little bit. I, I mean, I thought we missed some shots early. Um, you know that um, um, maybe we should have taken an extra dribble. We should have planted off two feet. Um, you know, and just took. You know, we got we got bumped. Um, you know, and, and you got to you got to play through those things. But you know, players adjust through that. Uh, but again. Um, Nah, it's not that big. Uh, you know, I didn't think it was that big a deal. I thought we responded, uh, you know, pretty well uh, for the most part in what was a, you know, a mucked up game and a really physical game. It's not like Michigan State hasn't done this in the past, though, in terms of, you know, mucking up a game and trying to play that way. So it's kind of, you knew what you were getting at that point, correct? Or oh, absolutely. I mean, kind of a surprise? They, I mean, we knew we were going to shoot close to 40 free throws tonight. That was our game plan. And they foul all the time, and, and he's got six bodies he can throw in there in the, in the middle. And, and um, you know, what they haven't been doing is, is, is making shots like that. And they got going against Indiana. They did that tonight. And, uh, again, we couldn't stop it because we didn't make free throws. Thanks, Brett. Appreciate it. Okay, Scott Ritchie, then Joey Wagner. Go ahead, Scott. 
you know, Brad, when you say maybe you, know, you were due for a game like this, was did you have any like sense of maybe this happening before the game, or yeah. where, where does that kind of idea no, come from? The, the basketball gods treat you in a crazy way sometimes. When you play and, and you have one as easy and as good as it was against, against uh, Minnesota, you know, getting back mentally. And, t- and when we miss free throws, it's a mental thing with us. And, um, you know, I, 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 you know, we've won seven in a row. We've, we've done a lot of really good things. We've grown. Um, and it's hard when you're in a high major league to find teams that, that can go and, and continually win games um, and, not, and not have an off night. And, uh, you know, we're, we're playing, uh, you know, a, a, again, a top five team at one point this season on the road in their building. And, uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And you, know, you mentioned Joshua Langford, and you know he almost doubled his career high with rebounds. Just what difference did he make? And especially, I mean, you know, it seemed like he went at Adam Miller quite a bit, you know, at least early. Yeah, I mean, they they did a great job of putting uh, uh, putting him in ISOs, but it was his rebounding. You know, he's had ten rebounds at half, and and uh, again, it was just a, a you know we I think we're twelve of thirty uh, on layups, and so. You know, when you when you're not getting um, getting those to go, um, you know, I mean, I almost two with nobody around me, and I mean, you know, it's just again, it's as much as you want to make a big deal about the Minnesota game uh, and and push it away. I do the same with games like this. But that you have you have them every year, and there's no explanation for them. And now it's just move on. We're a really good basketball team, and we got to we got to uh, get ready for the next one. Okay, Joey Wagner and then Derek Piper. Hey, Joey. Hey, Brad. Talk about you personally are in a pretty good place. Was there a point in the game? Because there were times you looked, you know, frustrated with just kind of how the game was unfolding. Was there, you know, what's the line for you between frustration and coming out and, you know, kind of seeing the way you're seeing it now? Well, I'm going to fight for my team while it's going on. As soon as the game ends, I got to switch to flip off. And, 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 you know, group of guys to deal with when I can't, when I'm not competing. And I loved our fight. I, I loved what we did. I, you know, we got 30 layups against Michigan State, 30. And we got to the line 34, 34 times. Let's go do that again on another night and let's see what the outcome is. And so I'm, I'm in an unbelievable place. And again, I knew, uh, you know, to win it out, I think somebody told me we'd have to win 21 straight, realistically. Uh, we're a good basketball team. We're going to, we're going to have a chance if we keep fighting and keep growing and you can't let one, you can't want, let one game. Uh, you know, you've got an unbalanced schedule in the big 10. That means nothing. I mean, you're going to go by some winning percentage or some, you know, when you got half the league, not playing 20 games, it's about the next, it's about the postseason, And, uh, you know, that's, that's where we got to keep aiming towards. I think this was the most points per possession the team's had since that Ohio State game. Was there anything specifically they were doing or anything you can kind of point to and say that was an issue? I mean, they made shots and they got offensive rebounds. And, um, you know, I, I was – give them credit. I mean, they, they got going against Indiana. You know, they scored 52 in the second half against Indiana. And uh, so that, that does a lot for their confidence. And, um, you know, other than early – uh, you know, we didn't turn them over, um, but uh, again, they're uh, you know they made they made they made plays and we didn't. Thanks, Brad. Okay, Derek Piper, you're up. Gavin, good on deck. Hey, Coach Demonte seemed to be a little hesitant with his three point looks. Hasn't taken very many dating back, you know, mid January. Are you seeing anything there, or maybe he needs to step up and shoot a little bit more aggressively? No, we never want him to turn him down, but, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's, um, he's fine. He'll be good. We'll get him to shoot him. The next one coming up, I know it's different senior night as far as no fans being in there and, and seniors having an opportunity to come back, but how do you kind of view that with, with what's, you know, coming up next? Well, that's a night of appreciation. That's a night of, of, of what family celebrates and, uh, you know, obviously it's a different year, as you mentioned, but, uh, um, you know, we, we celebrate family and, and, and that emotion. And it's, it's, it is disappointing that there's not going to be 15, five in there to, 
to celebrate them and, and, and this team. And, and, uh, but, um, you know, we'll make do and, and do it the best we can. Thanks. Okay, Gavin, you're up. Brandon Simberg on deck. Go ahead. Hey, Brad, it seems like some of the teams that, you know, maybe you guys have struggled the most against this season that have been teams that really have a lot of size and know how to use it well. Um, do you think that that is a matchup problem for you guys possibly? I think everybody in our league's got size. I mean, I, Northwestern's got size. Purdue's got size. Wisconsin's huge. Um, I, you know, I, so I, I, I mean, we've, we've done, we've done pretty well with what we've got. All right. Thanks. All right, Brandon, then uh, uh, Matt Stevens with a follow-up. Go ahead, Brandon. Hey, Brad, they limited Kofi to 13 and six tonight. What'd you kind of see from them defensively against him? I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the number, how many fouls he drew. I mean, he's, was he have 25 if he makes free throws? Um, you know, that's what I said. That's what I meant when I said they were going to muck it up. You know, they've got five guys that they can just throw in there and, um, and, and, and go at him. And, uh, you know, it was going to be a night where, where he was, we, we were trying to throw it in there and, uh, and maybe a little bit too much. We got out of a little bit of rhythm early, but, uh, again, it was, um, uh, they've got that luxury having all that size. And then a season low in minutes for Adam tonight. Uh, what kind of went into that? Nothing. Just, just, just combination. We were, we were trying to find Aaron Henry's matchup. We were trying to find, um, you know, matchup with uh, um, Langford. And again, it was just, um, you know, it's just one of those nights. Nothing, nothing big. He'll be, Thanks, in, be in the starting lineup on Thursday. Okay, we'll wrap up with Matt Stevens. Go ahead, Matt. Brad, I, I was laying on the floor after getting punched in the face, and I noticed you, you said something to your boss who was sitting courtside. Do you mind me asking what you said? No, I won't tell you. Okay, fair enough. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you, Coach. Safe Thank you. Home. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. That's a wrap up.